I'm so cute. I'm so cute. I'm not in the Bahamas no more, all right? <laughs> Hello lovies, I'm Kimberly Terry with a little tropical haul for you guys. I just got back from the Bahamas and it was wonderful and it was warm and I wish I was still there. So yes, I have a very quick haul for you guys. It was very warm and it was very nice and and I'm, I'm, I'm happy and, and sad to be home all at the same time. On one hand, I didn't need all this. Down in the Bahamas. No, I didn't. I don't like the gold. I don't like the gold. I'm just gonna shut up now and, and show you guys what I bought. Most of this stuff is t-shirts. I bought more t-shirts than anything else. What are you gonna do? You're gonna shut up and you're gonna talk about what you did find. And if you've been watching since it was warm, I live in sarongs. L literally, like I don't. If I wear shorts, which is fairly frequently enough, I'm a covering my booty with these things. Eh? Yes. And is that, can you read that? Yes. And this one I loved so much because it's a pink and it has, it has the islands. It has the islands all over it. While I'm talking about sarongs, I did buy two. Whilst I was in the Bahamas on, on this is the other one. And I will wear the ever living daylights out of this one. I fell in love with it. And immediately was like, where can I find this? And, and the, 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 the woman running the shop went through them and said, here it is. Isn't that gorgeous? Ooh, I can't get over it. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm, like a new favorite sarong. We'll be wearing that lots and lots and lots of spring, summer and fall. Aunt, that was my only sarongs. I also got a these. I got a these for to put in the camera. My A5000 that I'm filming with. I, I got this to go in it, but it's a little snug. I just, I just, I wanted to buy a little bag. It was very much an impulse uh, buy, but I'm not sorry. It was the only thing that I haggled for in the Bahamas. That was all that I bought in, let's see, I bought the sarong and the bag in Freeport. And nothing in Tino Beach. They, they don't have any merchandise in Tino Beach that says Tino Beach, which really bummed me out. And I loved that beach and it was pretty. And I wanted, I didn't get any souvenirs from, from Tino Beach, except the best souvenir, which I was gonna save for last, but since I'm talking about Tino Beach, I found these on the beach. How freaky cool is that? And it's, it's a little dirty and it's a busted. But this was kind of cool because this way I could pick it up and I could look and go, hello, is anybody home? And know that there was not anybody home. And so I didn't feel, you know, funny picking it up, sticking my hand up in it and going, come on. So that favorite souvenir, I, guess I was gonna save that to last, but speaking of Tino Beach, I did come home with a souvenir from Tino Beach and it was my favorite. It was my favorite. Let's see, so from Freeport, the next day we docked in Nassau. And in Nassau, I got some really cool stuff, including uh, this guy. This guy, which I'm going to Dia de los Muertos up, man. Yeah, he, he just, it's just, he says, oh, Bahamas. Her, her, right her, those Bahamas, and some kind of wood, I don't know, but I'm gonna repaint it and turn it into a sugar skull and crossbones. I think that means, I don't know. Oh God, I hate everything. I everything. Let's see, and uh, we also went to the Pirate Museum because I'm obsessed with pirates. I don't know if, I don't know if that's common knowledge or not, but I got some really cool things there, including I got me a new coloring book. A historically accurate coloring book. 
and it has a bunch of pirates in it. The bloody scurvy dogs. I also bought a Dees iron on patch. I thought that was super cool, and so I bought it. And then the let's see, let's see. I also bought this, hoping it was a sarong, and it was not. It's actually a scarf. It says scarf, but I looked at the measurements and I was like, I don't know, that could be a that could be a sarong. And I guess it could be a short sarong, but I wear them much longer than that. So I will probably just wear it as a scarf. Arr, don't I look? Don't I look? Don't I? Don't I look bad? I'm so bad. And then the last thing I got from the pirate museum which is possibly my favorite, favorite, well, one of my, I got some cool shirts from this trip. Under the my pirate uh, Oh, wait, oh, oh, <laughs> that's awesome. I love this shirt and I'm going to cut it up and make it look all piratey. Eh? I also bought four of these bracelets. Four of these bracelets from a vendor. If you go to the Bahamas, you will find that the vendors there are very pushy. They make a living off of tourism. Tourism is the biggest commodity down in the Bahamas. And so they need us to survive. And as such, I bought some bracelets, I bought them. They were free. Please donate to the school children. The school children made these, please donate. So I, I gave her a buck a piece them and then I promptly lost mine. This was actually the one that she gave Matt Man and Matt Man when I said I lost my bracelet. He goes, here you go dear you can have mine. I said yay. I also bought shirts and shirts and more shirts. As, yeah like I think the vast majority of the rest of my haul. I think that I actually bought this in Freeport. This was not in Nassau. Lion like a lion in the lion. This is one of my absolute most favorite Tistus's Bob Marley images. And that's not the only Bob Marley shirt that I bought. I also bought, I bought this one too. Yes. One love, one heart. Let's get together and feel all right. Hey, what's this? Oh, there's something in here I forgot about. That's always, oh yeah. Oh, that's fun. And then I got a couple of other very generic t-shirt for some friends and a family. This one kind of made me laugh. Bahamas, king of beaches. <laughs> and then I also took no nail polish with me to the Bahamas. So I ran around the entire time with naked piggies. Naked piggies, nothing on my toesies. So when I came across this um, Del Sol shop down there where they carry color changing stuff, this is the color of the nail polish when you put it on and then you get in the sun and it's that color. And I was like, sold! I thought that was super duper cool. I have not tested it out yet. I may do a first impression review of this nail polish just for fun because I think that would be kind of cool. Thumbs this up if you want me to, if you want me to do it, if you want to see it. I think these are the last of the shirts. I bought a couple of these by some of my important people in my life. These were on the cruise ship. Now, I will say, if you go on a carnival cruise and you have heard that things go on sale the last day of the ship, this is true. I got this shirt half off. However, not everything on the boat is half off. Not all the shirts are half off, like a decent one. I'm almost positive they had a large and an extra large because I saw these shirts the first day. See, I'm not sure, but I saw these shirts. The first or second day out sheets to she. I saw these shirts the first or second day out to she. And I knew that I wanted one, but I waited until Friday to get one. These did not go on sale, and so I just ended up getting a medium, which will fit me, which is not what I wanted. I don't want to wear anything unless it's oversized right now. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't, I don't really know why. Oversh oversized shirts, oversized shirts, and, and, and leggings. This is all I want to wear. Oversized shirts and leggings. Right now it's too cold anyway. 
So that one I'll probably chop up too because it has a very nautical feel to it. I love the little octopi girl, which is strange. I'm typically not really into octopi themed tentacle Go for Jones type. Not, not, not usually my bag, but that I really liked. I'm sorry, I bought it. And I'm thinking this is the last thing. This is the last thing that I bought. Yeah, I really, I did, I did so, so good on this trip. I didn't spend very much. I found this. I found this the, this is it, on Friday, the last day we were sailing. And this was on clearance for, it was $30. I got it for 10 and it was really, really pretty. And I wanted it, so I bought it. I bought it. Oh, I bought it. And that is all, that's my entire haul. Oh, except for this shirt. Which I just gave to the recipient last night. Thus, while well, there's a picture and it's not her. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share and subscribe and all of that jazz. Follow me on social media. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye now, bye-bye now.